one. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the High Five Podcast, High Five After Dark. I'm your host, Malcolm, from Malcolm & Mary, and today we're going to take a peek at some beautiful products on the shelves of High Five. I'm joined by the lovely and co-worker, lovely Miss Wendy. Um, what are we trying tonight, Miss Wendy? So, I have the Fufu joints Woo-woo. from Pick. Yep. Um, it's, uh, uh, so <laughs> we've got a, we've got an infused joint here, if I'm reading this correctly. Yep. Um, we've got, this particular one has blueberry, banana pancake, candy grapes, cross, or, okay, so it sounds like blueberry banana pancakes is the flower. Yep. Candy grapes crossed with tangy scoops is the uh, is the concentrate in it. Okay. Um, it says your number one cannabis cocktail extract, flower and fruit. Hmm. Okay. I love their little tiki theme. Yes. I'm a big fan. Well, there. Well, there's a. It's not really tiki. They just use a tiki font, but it got me going. <laughs> um. <laughs> Pop it open, it does sm- Oh, this is different. Okay. Ooh. Have you seen this before? Nope. Check it. Uh, oh, okay, so there's like a rubber stopper in the top here. Uh, with a little thing you're supposed to, I'm assuming, pull out. A little dilly slap. With my fat little sausage fingers. To keep it, to keep the um, scent in? <laughs> I love that. Oh, it's we Twinkies. We Twinkies. Oh, they, sh- hallelujah. they should have a flavor named Twinkies. Everything is food based. They can't. I'd buy it. Well, I know, but you just gotta chase Twinkies with a Z. Twinkies with a Z. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very fair. How, what does that smell like, Wendy? I, I smell more blueberries. Okay. Okay. How do you think it's rolled? By a machine? No, I mean like quality. It's very, it, it's very uniform. Okay. Okay. It's very, very uniform. Um, I mean, down to the way they pack the tip. Oh, it's hard to get on there. Um, you know, there's some depth there. Then, like Chuck said, they bore a hole in it. Um, it feels like it's very finely ground. Okay. Uh, no word on. I'm sure it's probably ground flour. I'm going to make the assumption. So yours, you're supposed to light them around the edge here, mm-hmm. and then pull the top off, so that way you have flour exposed. But I don't want to touch it after I burned it. You have to. <laughs> <laughs> this bitch doesn't like getting her fingers dirty unless she has to. Fair. Well, realistically, when you when you do this method, sometimes about popping the hat, um, you'd be able to take the the twisted end of the paper without touching. Right off. Yeah. But with this, sometimes you can just blow it right off. Fair. Okay. Well, let's see what I. 
but Can in I my experience it right off? smoking these, if you don't take that top off, it does cause it to burn funny. Hmm. Already, uh, well, fair. Okay. Okay. Already they, for, already for me personally, that's a little bit much. It. There you go. They should have put instructions on the tube. Oh, who reads instructions on how to smoke a joint? Come on, if that and if that needs to be complicated, exactly. That's my point exactly. Listen, I didn't make the company. I didn't make it this complicated. But we will judge him. Very fair. Yes, we um, will. Okay. But this is why you. This is why you talk to your bud tenders when you buy your weed. Yes. I haven't heard the spiel from the sale from the sales guy, so you know, let your bud tenders tell you what's up when you're buying shit. Don't, yes. Don't. Never assume that just because you've been around several decades that you know everything. Yeah. <laughs> Usually they don't. Fair. Um, okay, very fair. Um, thank you, Wendy. And Chuck White, what are we trying tonight on that um, podcast? Uh, CBD one-to-one -one cherry OG with CBD sauce rosin. Excellent. And also from Pick? Yep. Beautiful. Now this one, what was that smell that gave you? Not really any smell. Fair. Okay. Any dry pull or nah? Um, there's like a sweetness from that cherry pie background, but otherwise slightly grassy notes. Okay. And I am very excited to see what you think about it. You've had some mixed reviews as far as your experience with the pick joints. A lot of customers have had some rave reviews. Some of our coworkers have even had rave reviews on them. Um, but your your um, view on them wasn't the, quite the same. No, I've I've had some some hit or miss ones depending on where they sourced it, and it seems you know nothing against Buddy Boy, but uh, the ones I've gotten sourced from Buddy Boy Flower, ironically, didn't want to stay lit. Hmm. And I have tried my luck with one of these nine pound hammer one to ones before. And I'm not familiar with the logo of this other brand, Bontech. Okay. But uh, it might be the same. So we'll see. Okay. Okay, okay. That one's also in the joint. Once again, that one is a CBD variety, um, so you'll find it on the big um, roller, not the pre-roll case, um, but big shout out to them. Once again, Infused CBD, we do love to see it on the shelves. Um, thank you, Chuck Light. Big shout out to Pick making their debut on the podcast. I'm excited about this. Um, I, too, just like Chuck, am trying their Live Temple, which is this little guy. We got the Live Temple. This is found in the CBD options. Um, they are on the little bit more um, uh, top shelf um, when it comes to CBD joints. Um, this is my first time trying pick joints. Going to go ahead, give that a little breaky doozy. Boom. This is the nine pound hammer and the CBD sauce rosin. They don't let us know what the CBD strain is, which is, you know, it's fine. They list their platform. It's at pick platform on Instagram. Um, and this is powered by pig, so I'm excited to see what this is all about. Let's go ahead and pop this bad boy. Smells pretty creamy and fruity. Once again, it's got a little nipple just like Wendy's right in there. Beautiful. And the <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Shouldn't have even said it. Shouldn't have even said it. Boom. But I kept my mouth shut. And you did great. You did great. Okay, now, as I pull this out, it smells good. And honestly, it looks like it's rolled well. I'm going to, because, I'm going to take a look at this. Beautiful. It looks great. It looks great. It's got the little yeah, yeah. It's got everything, right? Chuck, you were saying that we're supposed to burn the top of this? Yeah. Mm. Go, go along with the flame and rotate the joint. And then once you've done a full circle, either blow the top off or pull it off. I don't like so that. These are not meant to be ashed normally, like flicked. These are meant to be ashed like a cigar where you roll the ash. I do that anyway. But okay, let's get let's get this a try. Also, let me get that dry pull first. What? 
It's minty. It's definitely pine forward. I'm digging that. Okay. Around the filter, the paper is a little bit overboard and it's starting to like crowd the actual face front of the filter. Um, so immediately on the roll, I'd not get points for that. Also, it's to the point where I can actually push this in. And I, I, mean, I have to do it because I can't help myself. Oh, look at this. Oh, my God. You claim I you have, already have you, resin on my crutch. You want to know? You want to know? It's so funny. They claim to be the perfect joint. This joint's not better than a five out of ten already. Look at that gap. Look at that gap. Chuck, you look like you're about to do some spoken word poetry. Chuck is about to do some spoken word poetry. <laughs> All right, let's Harriet, see. Harriet. <laughs> sweet Harriet. <laughs> Hard-hearted harbinger of haggis. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Yeah, it's okay, a black and white for me. Your whole black and white setup is very um, Chuck Noir. No, no pun intended. I look better in black and white. Don't we all? Okay, but now I can see the tiny bits of. I'm sorry. I prefer to dress like a goddamn clown every single day. No, colorful is different. Colorful is bomb. Um, but I can see some specks of the oil in here as well. So I'm excited about that. They list it as pure hemp. Um, on their little filter, got a little marking. So we'll see. What's well, all right? So now we're gonna try this. Here we go. Just all around, just one, two, three. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Okay, the whole thing caught. The whole thing okay, caught. Do it. All right, I did it. But now, Chuck, this is stupid. That didn't work at all. Mine's smoking perfect. Well, my first part didn't work at all. That's all I'm saying. Hopefully, this smokes perfect. <coughs> now, Wendy. This little video displays on the counter. <laughs> Look, my thing is this. You got perfect video displays on the counter, but they can't even push your crutch in. Right. You know what I'm saying? And this better be the best smoke experience I've ever had. I just had my lighter lit for mad long trying to light it, and then I went to go light it again and burn the fuck out my thumb. <laughs> oh, stoners. Okay, but Miss Wendy, off of those first couple of hits, how would you say this is treating you so far, smoothness-wise and flavor-wise? Okay, so the first two hits had me coughing up a lung. Hot, burning in the back of my throat it's chilled out a little bit it but it was really harsh at first um but i've already had to relight it twice and it's already gone out a third time <coughs> <coughs> well I this problem with their and i have a I, this is this is this is not a new issue with me and joints though because i talk too much to keep smoking on a joint to keep it lit fair it does Make me want to maybe put start dumping some of it in my bong though and see what happens. Because if here's the thing, um, when you have it like oil infused, yeah, and you smoke it in a joint, I don't feel like it's getting hot enough to activate that oil. Especially right. when it keeps going on every 10 seconds. You have, to dab, you have to use a torch, right? Right, right. So that leads me, that's a good segue into this um, flavor infused flower from Shatter Jays, Seattle Marijuana Company. Yep. Um, they hung out with Effie the other day, and she was very adamant that when you smoke this stuff, rather you're mixing it with your flower or smoking it on its own you need to light it with a torch. And if it's in a joint, you can't keep you can't keep lighting it with a torch every time because bits just don't get hot enough and as it's just sitting there smoldering and even when you pull on it, it's I don't feel like it's getting hot enough to really activate that oil. Right. Okay, so this is my thing. She's saying you need to smoke that flavored flower with a torch. Yes. How, how what method are you doing that? Do you I have a little hand torch. Right, but how do you smoke that? Just in a bowl? 
in a bowl in my mouth. Okay, 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 fair, 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 fair. And, but it's, it's sticky, like, it's sticky, like, flavored tobacco or shisha, kind of. Um, so it also is, it really lends itself well to, like, topping a bowl. <coughs> okay. Serve it. It's not expensive. It's for an eighth, it's the same. It, it would be mid shelf. <coughs> okay. Price wise. It is an eighth. It is, right? Yeah, it's an eighth at a mid shelf price. It looks like almost like tobacco. It's okay. ground very finely. It's ground bee buds. Um, it's not trim. But you said it's sticky. It's sticky because of the of the oil that's in it. And and it smells so good. This I got the grape and I also got the chocolate covered strawberry. <coughs> okay. And I am trying to get Mr. Britt to get us the creme brulee because I had some of that Ooh. out at his birthday the other day. And Happy birthday, John. Was, yes. It was the most amazing taste and experience. It was like the most delicious weed with the best high that was like, it was all the beauty of smoking a bowl with the high of dabs. Interesting. Okay. Wow. And like, John was laughing at me. <laughs> because you were so in love? Because I'm like so went into a corner. I'm crying. I did kind of sit very quietly by myself for a while and didn't say a whole lot because there was a lot of six-year-olds running around. I'm crying. And thank God for this. <laughs> wow. Okay. I just feel like I never um, but, that high. When, when, when you have my kind of anxiety at the six-year-old's birthday party, I needed to be that high. Fair. 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 Honestly, sometimes just to be in public, I need to be that high. But okay, exactly. now when it comes when it comes to that flavored, what's the product? What's it called? The um, the, the shattered taste? No, the flower. The oh, Effie's they, flower. Well, yeah, they call it flavor infused flower. Boom, flavor infused flavor infused flower. Okay. Yes. Okay. And okay, you okay. can find it on the wall. Um, at the end of the budget case. Okay, fair, fair. I'm not sure if that's the best place for it, but Bob and I have kind of been discussing because it was in the joint case for a while right. because we kind of thought you'd roll joints with it, but then talking with Effie, we're like, well, maybe that's not the best place to keep it because it's not really a four yeah. rolling joints. Yeah, it's and got. So, I think it should be near concentrates of some sort. Not the joint case, though. Even I was like, right. what the fuck is that doing in the joint? You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, no. No. And also, but, that's those are pre-rolls. That's not rolling. Right. Get it out right. the joint. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Well, and like yeah. I said, that was the, the misconception at the beginning that it was meant for rolling yeah. joints. Yeah, yeah. Not meant for rolling joints. Very but, fair. yes, maybe in, in I, don't, I don't know. I just think if everybody knows about it and knows where to find it and if the customer sounds like they that's what they're looking for or that that might be up their alley you know you can always take them over there fair very true this is true um okay um and also thank you for the insight you know what i'm saying wendy came up to me almost right away and was like i got something i want to talk about on the podcast it's a product that most of us probably wouldn't go for you know what i'm saying unless we knew about it you know what i'm saying big shout right. to effie um, as always, gotta love Effie. Um, but okay, very I fair. Adore her. Yes, she did. It's literally the best. Um, and it's then um, Chuck, thank you, Wendy. And then Chuck, and then Wendy, because you thought she was safe. Well, favorite spinach dish. Like Go. Five, four, three, uh, spinach two, dip. one. Spinach dip. Yeah. Is it great? But, but, but what kind of chips or bread? Pita chips. Oh my. I love... Or, better yet, sourdough bread with the uh, the sour, the, the spinach dip in a bread bowl and then little, like, crusty sourdough slices. Would be fire. And it is football season. 
It is football season. It has dawned upon it. Uh, spinach. No. Jeez. Okay, very fair. Um, also, my favorite dish, one of my favorite dish ever, um, palak paneer or sag paneer is a, is an Indian uh, dish. Um, and it's a spinach-based dish, a spinach-based stew with um, little cheese curds in it. Um, and that shit is all of the dairy, all of the butter, all of the ghee, all of the everything, and spinach. And it's like, yes, this is great. But eating that with naan is awesome, of course, and rice, of course. I but that sounds like something I would try. Wendy, it's so good. Wh oh, it's great. Like, I've actually had spinach in, I used to make a low-sodium lasagna yeah. with spinach. Um, and also, there I used to get this pizza all the time that was, you're just, just going to blow your mind, spinach and artichoke. Um, I love, I love that on a pizza. I, I think that would be great on a pizza, 100%. Which are like two of the only vegetables I really like on a pizza. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Honestly, I will eat a lot of things on a pizza, except for onions. Chuck, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Okay, very fair. But, um, okay, Chuck Light. Thank you, Wendy. What are we trying tonight in this puck? I mean, what are we trying tonight? How are we feeling so far? <laughs> I'm feeling relaxed. Okay. <laughs> I've got a slate head high going. Not, not a strong one, but just like a slight, like one, kind of creeping in from the back of the dome. Okay. Not the back back, but the top. Fair. Okay. What are you getting? Are you getting, um, sorry, effect, or how's your joint treating you? How's it burning? How's it smoking? Oh, it's burning perfect still. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> you still got a decent amount left. Okay. Okay. Um, I will. It's relatively smooth. Okay. You getting flavor from that? <laughs> Sorry. Um, I'm just past where the oil was. So I'm not getting as much flavor as I was when I was at the part with the oil. Okay. Okay. First... <coughs> Three <coughs> effects that come to mind. What would you What would you say? <coughs> Sleepy, relaxed, euphoric. Beautiful. Okay, and on a scale of one through ten, what would you rate the flavor? Flavor. I guess honestly, maybe like a five. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Just because, like, it could definitely be terpier. I feel like a lot of that that terpene flavor that was coming through initially was from the rosin. Right. Okay. Okay. Very fair. Okay. Um. Thank you, Chuck Light. Okay. Is there anything? Because you thought you were safe. <laughs> I'm always ready. Alright. Chuck can't think of a question. Look, he's thinking. It better be a good one. Arugula? On a sandwich. On like a, I would do it, honestly, any sandwich. On a sandwich, lightly dressed with olive oil. That's it. Like, I've heard of arugula, but what the fuck is arugula? Arugula is what Australians call rocket. It's a, it's a, it's a leafy green. And it's peppery. What do you that sandwich? It's peppery. Like lettuce? What am I? Okay, I'm ready. Ready, Chuck? Mozzarella. I'm doing grilled chicken. And I'm doing um, sun-dried tomatoes. Boom. Okay. Yeah. I'm going very light. And it's on like one of the half Italian baguettes. You know what I'm saying? I like arugula. But it's just going to be lightly dressed. I don't do mayo. I don't do none of that bullshit. None of that. None of that. The honey Dijon. None of that bullshit. 
I want olive oil, kosher salt. Oh, all that bullshit. Well, well, I'm sorry. Yeah, big shout out to anybody who eats that. But we never yuck, <laughs> their, we never yuck their yum, like Robinson would say. We never yuck their yum. But, um, yeah, for me, that that's for me. Chuck, that was a good one. Arugula was great. Arugula was great. Also, um, this is not my answer because I already gave it. But arugula on pizza, on white pizza, is incredible. Baked off and let it wilt just a little bit. That shit's great. And very common. Sometimes in like baby mix salads. Have I seen it there before? Probably. Probably. I feel like Check it's... this out. On my ventures to the Midwest, visiting the great city of Chicago, I came across a Polish salmon dip, which is like the salmon Polish blended salmon. with like cream cheese and a few other herbs and spices, mm. right? You put that on a toasted bagel. I would eat that. And then you slap some arugula and some cheese down. Mm. It's probably like a horseradish cheese or something. I don't know. Okay. Okay. You, um, that, they had, it had onions in it? Huh? It had onions in it? No. Just the chives or green onions or whatever? Yeah, uh, chives. That's an onion, right? It's an onion family, but I like, I'll eat chives 100%. Okay. They're, they're never going to ruin a dish, ever. Yeah, there's oh. definitely some chives in that dip. Beautiful. That dip there sounds used really good. To be a killer Polish truck at Cartlandia years ago that would have this Hunter special, and it would have like two strips of Polish sausage and like some kind of really rich savory stew and like some sweet stuff and i didn't know what half the shit was that i was eating but it was so fucking delicious <laughs> and 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 potato pancakes oh latkes oh i love yeah, potato pancakes oh, love they're the best the best the Polish sour cream. that's home mm. no sour cream for me applesauce yes. sour cream, i i it. i do the applesauce I don't do the oh, sour cream. I will take them both. That's traditional Jewish. That's there. like real traditional Jewish. That's real. That's home. That's literally home. Home. Um, my I black. I made latkes one year for for uh, Hanukkah. Yeah, latkes are so good. Oh my god. Okay, very fair. Big shout out to everybody worldwide. Um, big shout out to latkes. Big shout out to Cartlandia. I um, love that. Super um, shout out to potato products. Period. Any potato fried in oil, <laughs> yes. And also, big shout out, speaking of which, big shout out to um, Chantrell Mushrooms. It is a season. Um, and they are all around us in the Pacific Northwest. Take advantage. I wear my mushroom dress today. Yes, yes. It is Chantrell Mushroom season. And we have a Chantrell Mushroom special at the restaurant right now. Um, Chantrell Mushroom Benedict. Beautiful. Um, with a miso hollandaise. <laughs> Um, really, really unique. Definitely go and check that out as always. Um, but um, it seems as though, thank you, um, Chuck Light. And because you thought you were safe, Chuck Light. Hmm. Favorite saffron dish? Go. Five, four, um, three, I don't know if I've had two. saffron. Saffron is this. Do you know what saffron is? I it's do. A spice? Yes, it is a spice. It's the stamen from a crocus uh, flower. And they like have to be harvested and plucked out. And they like, you throw them into like broth or um, dishes like rice and things that are stewed. Yeah, isn't it like comparable to the price of gold? 100%. Probably. <laughs> Yeah, it's expensive shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. You get a little tiny jar for, you know, 50 bucks yeah. or some shit. It's like, it's like, the, it's like one of the most expensive. Uh, spices, I think. Period. So I need to be growing saffron. I mean, now you're trapped. I don't know if it can grow in this climate. Oh, also that's true, and I'm. I don't know. Well, also, but you never know. Also, where there's a will, there's a way. Chuck, I will also be an investor in that. Thank you. Um, <laughs> big shout out to everybody growing saffron worldwide. Um, the saffron farmers. Wow. Big shout out to y'all. Yeah, they're rich. Actually, I Saffron is mostly farmed for oil. You can make um, oil out of it? Yes. It, yeah, it, That's... it's mostly, because now that I'm thinking about it, uh, my mom actually lives a couple miles from a saffron farm. 
but they're, all their saffron is harvested to make oil. Safola oil is saffron oil. Yes. And, oh, I've never heard of this oil. Yes. And yes. Chuck, so Chuck, when you see saffron, Bear for Contessa was literally cooking with it today. Um, and she did a one pot dinner with chicken and roasted vegetables and things of that nature, but she just threw some saffron in. You know, it gives a beautiful color. It gives a bright, bright orange color to whatever dish it's going in. Paella is another dish that they use saffron in. It's like one of the main ingredients. It gives the rice that beautiful yellow color. Almost anytime you see yellow rice, that's saffron. You know what I'm saying? Or dobe. You know, something else giving it that color. But it's got that, it gives a very, flavor profile wise, it gives a very beautiful heat. It's not spicy, it's not, you know, um, bitter or anything like that. It gives a warmth, and you almost don't even notice it. It just brings that warmth to every, si it permeates the dish, very much so. Big shout out to Saffron, um, big shout out to everybody. Um, okay, now, it seems as though it's time for the scale of one through 10, would you recommend? Um, thank you, Chuck Light. I've got the Pig Live Temple. This is the nine pound hammer and the CBD sauce rosin. I'm going to jump into this first so I don't ramble. I made it this far, right? We made it this far. This is a one gram joint. I literally wrote, hate that this, well, I didn't finish that, but I said, hate that this is a one gram joint, 100%. Number one. Number two, the smoke experience is a four out of 10. The flavor is a three out of 10. I said, starting to enjoy the effects though, the body is noticeable within the first six to seven hits. It's happy, social, and slightly engaged. However, I, and I say slightly because it feels a little spotty, attention-wise and things like that. But smoothness-wise, I'm only going to give this a 6 out of 10. You know what I'm saying? Smoke experience, I really wasn't that happy. And it's leaving like a lingering kind of throat vibe that I, I, I just don't care for. Um, potency, and as far as the flavor, there was no flavor. I said it tastes, I literally wrote it tastes just like something burned. That's it. That's literally the flavor I got from this. Um, immediately would never, would never recommend this. Had to light this twice. And then I tried to go back again and it went on again. You really can't push the perfect product when I know I roll perfect joint. <laughs> I'm kidding. But genuinely, this is joint wise. This is like a two out of ten. I would never, I would never smoke this over something I would roll with just pure flour. Come on now, come on now. And also, Miss Wendy, to solve your conundrum, you should smoke Hindu Kush. Super waxy texture of the bud when it's grown very well, like Puffin Farms. If you roll that, you could talk all your heart desires. That shit ain't going now. That shit's not going now. I would literally roll you a joint of Hindu Kush. That's not gonna fucking go out. On some no okay. bullshit. And that, and you know what we call no, those? Accepted. Look, and you know what we call those? Joint afros. Well, you know what? One day we're just gonna have a Hindu Kush podcast. Oh, well, I gotta go in anymore. I gotta go in and say a couple words to a couple people. Um, because it's time we have Hindu Kush back on the shelves. Nevertheless, been gone for a while. I'm starting to get a little upset, but nevertheless, um, yeah, this I mean, I like the high of it. It's animated, it's like I said, like I, it's ha it's mood enhanced, it is happy, and it's definitely if I would I want to go through this experience again in order to get there. No. No, I could have done without this. I could have saved my lungs this type of experience. Big shout out to other, everybody um, leaving the realm of smoking as well and just making the dive into edibles. I spoke to like three customers today that were changing how they want to medicate because they don't think smoking is the best option for them. I said more power on you, <coughs> better on you, go for it. But also, I shall do it for you. <laughs> but nevertheless, um, scale of one to 10 overall, I give us a three. I just don't like when it's in not, how should I say this? It's just not the smoothest experience. And I wish it was. And not, like I said, the highest spotty, but mentally also choppy. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel like I'm relaying as much as I want to. This, as far as I'm concerned, gimmick. It's all a gimmick. It's all a gimmick. These are all a gimmick. I, and if I had that picture iPad in my room right now, I'd throw that. You know what I'm saying? Um, nevertheless. Chuck Light, what we thinking? Scale of 1 through 10. I'm going to give it a 6. Okay. Because mine, mine burnt perfect. Okay. 
I mean, I didn't change anything about mine, but, you know, I mean, it, it smoked perfect. Um, flavor definitely could have been better. It wasn't bad. It just wasn't high-quality flavor. Fair. Smoothness, though, was okay? Yeah. I mean, I coughed here and there, but, I mean, otherwise, relatively smooth. Fair. Okay. Very fair. Um, I'm pretty relaxed. Okay. Okay. I do agree. I think, I think like three quarter grams would be perfect. Also, my biggest thing is I said I hate that this is one gram because I'm not enjoying the smoke experience. So now I have to like endure it for that this long amount of duration. Um, but I think a half gram, two half grams. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't even need to be 0.75. Do the, do the third grams like Phil Canis yeah, can do it. It really doesn't even need. You mean to tell me? I feel like if as I'm continuing to smoke, I'm not getting any higher. But also, we're, it's, we're different people also. So, nevertheless. Um, okay, very fair. Thank you, Chuck Light. And because you thought you were safe. Yeah. Favorite papaya? Okay. Well, yeah. No. I don't like that one. Okay, okay, ready? This is a good one. Okay, ready, Chuck? No, here we go. Okay. Favorite way to eat. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. <laughs> Favorite sweet and sour dish? Go. Five, four. I guess sweet and sour three. chicken over rice. There you have it. It's or... a great choice. Trippies. What'd she say? Noodles. Shrimpies. Shrimpies? Shrimpies. Sweet and sour shrimpies. Oh. Oh, yes. We love. We li- I like sweet and sour anything, really. Yeah, lemons are dope. Limes are dope. Anything. Hell yeah, okay. Big crab show. Rangoons. We do love crab rangoons. Shout um, out to crab rangoons yes. worldwide. I would love crab rangoons. <laughs> I would love crab rangoons right now. That would be great. Okay, very fair. Um, okay, and then Wendy. Wendy Bendy. What are we thinking? It's crab. Um, so, what the fuck was it? <laughs> Another one of those two joints. The, I don't know what happened to the two. My life is in shambles. <laughs> no, it's not. You're Sick. perfect. Kirsten! Um, blueberry nice. banana. Hey, Kirsten! Um, I agree with everything you said, <laughs> Malcolm. Um... I would I would say three out of ten. I, it was way harsher than it should have been. Yeah. It would not stay lit, and I'm really disappointed that at this point because after lighting it like four times, I oh where did my camera go? <laughs> oh, I put my Wi-Fi slowed down. Anyway, there it is. Um, you know I didn't even get a quarter of a way through it. And now, if I'm going to finish it, I have to put it in my bong because it tastes gross to relight it. Right. Um, That's what I should do. Uh, I'm just not impressed. It smelled really good out of the out of the tube, and the little gimmicky thing is great. But mm-hmm. um, now I have to make sure my dogs don't eat this little silicone piece. Um, and are those are not cheap either huh she said now i gotta make sure my i just realized what you said <laughs> <laughs> i see Ryder eating that right now literally right now that's funny so yeah i'm just not impressed um i don't intend to finish it i so you know i would imagine i won't buy one fair very fair but, uh, but in fairness, I'm not a joint smoker. Uh, it has to be really, really smooth for me to 
handle a joint, so. Okay, very fair. Okay, very fair. And um, thank you, Miss Wendy. And Miss Wendy, because you thought you were safe. Favorite onion dish? Go. Five, four, three, Deep fried. two. <laughs> That is always a good answer. Onion rings, bloomin' onions, crispy onions. Wow. I don't like fresh onions. I don't like sauteed onions. Okay. I like the flavor of onions, but most onion texture I don't like. So if I use onions in my cooking, I tend to send it through a food processor or just use onion powder. Okay. okay, very fair, very fair. Big shout out to Outback Steakhouse for making the Bloomin' Onion um, famous. Also, I keep coming across this. Um, big shout out to everybody cooking savory things with potatoes in particular in their waffle iron. I love all of these recipes with waffle irons. People are like putting shredded potatoes in the waffle iron and got like cracking a fried egg in it. Like you don't really realize it, but they get hot like as fuck. Like you can really cook in them. Like and like laying bacon down and like just making really creative towers, like cutting the pieces in half. Like it gets really really cute. Um, but I love that. Like I love that. I need That's a waffle iron. That's, we all want waffle <laughs> irons. It's a great. It's a great. It's a great thing. Um, okay, very fair. Thank you, Wendy and Kirsty. Welcome in. Just to catch you up. I had the live temple CBD Yaya from Pick. We had a little Pick podcast today. Um, I thought it was trash. Chuck Light had the um, live temple as well and um, gave it a six out of ten. And you just heard Wendy's. What do we got you trying? Who me? Yes. Like that. The black diamond from Blue Root. Yes. I rolled it into a joint. I will light it right now. Gotcha. gotcha. Um, the breakdown was nice. Um, it like rolled up pretty good. Okay. I'm sure it'll light pretty fine. Okay. How was the moisture? Okay. It looks good. It's like it's not super dense, but it's not super airy and like spread out either. See, I needed a joint like Kirsten got. <laughs> That's what I needed to do. Like me. Absolutely. Just kidding. Thank you, Kirsten. We just need a picture of you up there instead on the iPad. It needs to be Kirsten just like this, posing and rolling joints. It should be. That's funny. Okay. You guys, you guys, you guys, I rolled my first blunt yeah, the other day. Oh, good job. See, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's hilarious, but it got me high. And there you have it. And that will keep you going. Yes. Yeah. Watch, Wendy. In one month, you're going to be like, I can't believe I couldn't roll before. Watch. Um, Kirsten, what's that flavor giving you so far? Uh oh. Uh oh. I love it when Kirsten gets on here. Kirsten. I'm tired, so. And my nose doesn't work today. Because <laughs> it's just been like, I've been sneezing so much. Those days of the allergies are just like, something's in here. 
Yikes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's a good choice. It's so bad. It's really smooth. Okay. Um, probably really. Yeah. Yeah. You, you literally look like Roy. You look like a Roy right now. <laughs> you literally look like a Roy. That is great. That is great. <laughs> oh my god. It ages oh you by god. like 20. Stay it, away from my. You, you look like my mother's type. <laughs> I'm crying. That's funny. On the next episode, I'm catfishing Wendy's mother. <laughs> and we're going catfishing. I just watched Big Lebowski the other day, too. Oh, shit. That's funny. Platinum Girl Scout cookies. That's so Real good. Real good shit. <laughs> Shout out to Chuck Rollins. Oh my god, I know a cowboy named Chuck. That's funny. Um, nevertheless. Um, cowboy Chuck. Yes. Look up Ree Drummond, her husband. His name is Chuck. Chuck Rollins. Um, love that. It's nevertheless. Cool. They live in Oklahoma, Chuck. I don't want to go to Oklahoma. Fair. What <laughs> <laughs> it looks like. I think it's Oklahoma. Yo. You look like you're all ready for Oklahoma. Look at that, like oh, that one. So you literally just had a dragonite fly on your screen. You look down? Put that back. You literally had a dragonite flying on your screen. You went from cowboy to Pokemon. <laughs> That's great. That was literally great. <laughs> that was perfect. This episode is called Dragonite. That was perfect. Um, okay, very fair. And then, um, all right, Kirsty. So far, if you had to give it one through ten, what would you say? Honestly, I'd say this kid's uh, like a, a seven or eight so far. There's plates on it, but it's not like anything other like so far. Right. Okay. Okay. Big shot to Black Diamond. It is burning super nice and really even. Oh, and it's on. It's so I did look. The lineage is like Blackberry crossed with Diamond OG. Hmm. So. I guess I was expecting like maybe a little bit more on the on the flavor scale to kind of go with that blackberry, I guess. But then again, I don't know that I've ever had blackberries strained by itself. So yeah, you don't smoke fat panda, of course you haven't. <laughs> so I just might have been fooled by the by the the name, you know, into thinking that it was gonna be something and i'm not like sad that it's not because i don't care if like a weed is like necessarily sweet i do like those more like kind of savory and earthy and skunky and funky flavor profiles too so like i just i just went into it i guess kind of expecting like a little bit more of that okay and maybe a little more gushiness from the og the diamond og but like I said, sometimes I just like fool myself because of the <laughs> the names and the strains. Yeah. You know, you kind of expect it to be one way, and it's yeah. not always necessarily gonna be that way. Okay, very fair. But it's not bad. It's it's uh, I just feel like I know that it's a little bit more expensive. This isn't their sapphire line, so it's the less expensive blue roots that we do carry. But right. that's why I only gave like a seven or eight so far. So far, I just am not like, oh wow, this is like a really top shelf smoking experience. I right. say it's like a, it's in line with like lower, um, lower top end and upper mid end shelves. Okay. That's up. So far. Okay, fair. All oh, right. and it just went out while I was talking. That's me. Fair. That's my bad. I talked too much. Okay. Okay, very fair. Okay, big shout out to Blue Roots and the Black Diamond. Um, thank you, Kirsty. And Kirsty, because you thought you were safe. Uh, Favorite tomato dish? Go. Five, four, three, two, one. Go. Tomato soup. Myself. Tomato soup. Okay. Tomato soup. Tomato soup. Okay. Mine is pizza, but tomato soup is a great one. Tomato soup is a great one. Yeah. 
I mean, pizza is really good, but I try to, like, that's honestly the only thing that's, like, super, super, like, tomato-based that I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll fuck with that. Absolutely. Oh. I made a whole ass tomato sandwich with a tortilla last night. Not, hey, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> nothing it wrong. was just yeah, mayonnaise and that, tomato like, and when... cheddar cheese <laughs> and garlic salt, and it was so delicious. That's <laughs> fucking disgusting. I love to make a sandwich. When you described about, I know, but how you described about onions and like, oh, I don't like the texture, but I will not fucking eat a tomato like that. Yuck. Ah. I will not have a tomato on my burger. I will not fuck with the tomato in my salad. Mm -mm. Really? Do really? Like salsa? A salsa, but I even like, I like really small, fine, like chunky salsa. I don't like pico. No. What if it's like on a pizza really still, no? No, no, no. I like, I like pizza sauce. I like no, pizza no, 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 no. Like when it's like, when it's like a margarita. Oh, like fresh? No, I actually do like margarita pizza without the tomatoes. I get it, and I get like. Uh, roasted garlic or like artichoke hearts nice. and like okay. other kinds of vegetables yeah. to like make up for it. But I don't know. I, yeah, even on a margarita, I get it without tomatoes. Wow. Okay, very fair. Like, um, like big slices of tomatoes and shit. Yeah. Yes. I will eat great tomatoes and she will snack all day long. <laughs> she will she'll eat great tomatoes. She'll grab a big ass tomato. She grab it. She would take a bite right out of it, like an apple. Like she doesn't care. Wow. She loves them. Love fresh wow. tomatoes. But I do not. I wow. do not. You can grow them in the yeah. garden and uh, super. Wow. I really like it. Okay. Very fair. Okay. I like, I like cooked tomato. Okay. I'm weird and it's okay. No, it's not. No, it's great. It's amazing. You want to know something even more weird? You're not a weirdo. You're an individual. You want to know something? Oh, yes. I'm individual. You want to know <laughs> I love tomato soup, but I hate grilled cheese sandwiches. Excuse me? I fucking hate them. They're so gross. Excuse me? Yeah. I, mean, I, I never liked them. Excuse never me? Liked them. Comely sense? I don't like them. Comely sense? I don't like grilled cheese sandwiches. Comely Sansa. My heart is breaking for you right now. Kirsten, really? Grilled cheese I sandwiches swear. have literally brought me so much joy in my life. Does Paisley so not eat grilled cheese sandwiches? Like some? Sure, she's also sort of sugar. Yeah, she's like a Kirsten, I, I genuinely learned something new about you. That's interesting. My dad prided himself. My dad didn't cook. Listen, listen, listen. My dad didn't cook growing up, but the one thing he made that he like was like, it's my turn to cook. Oh, it's going to be the best was grilled cheese. Like he would always make us grilled cheese. My mom didn't feel like it. That's so that funny. That was the first thing I was ever allowed to cook on the stove. <laughs> It, Kirsten, also, it just you have to use good quality ingredients. You, um, see, also, the, I'm going to tell you that right now that is part of it. Yeah. Um, I didn't like cheese until I was 19 years old because I had never had, like, a good, like, Tillamook cheese. Yes. Like, a slice of cheese like that. I grew up very poor. I grew up on fucking absolute government cheese and nasty-ass yeah. white bread and shit like that. So, yeah, like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, I do understand that that is part of it. Yeah. But even today good cheese good like a good ass. like i do not fucking like it there's something and i love quesadillas so if i guess fuck me up that way I, Kirsten, what? That, like, no you it's the cheese it's the ingredients no, it's the ingredients and it's... the cheese like all of it together i do not fuck with it i don't like the taste of it and it's weird because all the things are good i like cheese i like butter i like bread Kirsten, no like we're gonna cheese. change your mind we're gonna change your mind we're gonna change like your that. mind it's so gross <laughs> maybe if you just maybe Kirsten maybe if we just we're gonna figure it out don't worry we got this we're gonna figure it out okay very fair um okay thank you Kirsty 
It seems as though this has brought us to a close. I want to give a big shout out to everybody smoking weed worldwide and rocking and rolling to High Five. Big shout out. Granji Grita, fellow High Five Supply as well. Stevenson, big shout out to y'all. Mavs, big shout out to y'all. Happy belated birthday to all the birthdays. John and Maverick. Y'all the bomb dot com. Um, big shout out to Chuck Light, Kirsty and Miss Wendy Bendy. I'll see y'all next time. Remember to say hi and humble, y'all. Peace. Hey, you